All right, uh, welcome to Alvaro's garage. Not really my garage, more of like my driveway because this doesn't actually fit in my garage. But I just want to walk through my cars and kind of document this, kind of for my sake, maybe share with a few friends. But that'd be pretty cool. So here we go. This is my 1971 FJ40. Uh, when I received it, it was pretty rough shape. Um, actually, when I first got home, the accelerator cable broke right as I was, right as I was coming up my driveway. Um, only the front right brake was working, so luckily I picked it up about eh, about two miles from my house. So it was a little sketchy drive. Uh, the caster angles was all wrong with the um, lift, so it was really sketchy to drive. But it's been a, a fun little project. Uh, we'll kind of walk through from the things I've done and and you kind of see the the progress I've made. Of, Throw in a couple of pictures of my my work. Um, so, a couple of things I did. I I replaced the steering box with a slower ratio version. Uh, the original one that the previous owner had put in there was too fast. It was made it pretty sketchy. Um, the caster angle was all wrong, so I had to cut and weld the axle um, housing. Um, put a high steer lift on it. Um, the original was a kind of a mock-up or taken from a mini pickup truck and it was yeah, it was pretty pretty poorly made. Um, we did the suspensions, new shocks. All-wheel disc brakes, so mini truck disc brakes in the front with um, a, some conversion brackets in the rear. So this is kind of the, the rear brake setup, disc brakes, um, the floorboards were fairly rusted when I picked it up, so I had to cut out the original floor boards and kind of patch it up with some steel and I laid in some um, damping material to kind of calm down the, the noises. Replace the gas tank. Um, still rocking the original three speed manual. Um, I do have an aftermarket Orion transfer case. Got my Orion transfer case with a four to one low ratio. Uh, got a has some Airby front and rear lockers. A Dakota Digital um, gauge cluster. Um, I did get rid of a carburetor setup uh, and put in fuel injection. The engine was already in here. It's a small block Chevy, um, 327 cubic inch. So I replaced that with a Fitech fuel injection. It's been running pretty great. Uh, new master cylinder and booster. All new brake hard lines and soft lines. New radiator, overflow tank. Here's the compressor for the lockers as well as air for airing up tires. A surge tank for the fuel setup. So got the high pressure fuel pump in here with the mechanical low pressure feeding the surge tank and then the return back into the tank. Put some uh, Cooper SST Pros 33 inch tires on 15 inch rims. Uh, 
wired in a tail hitch wiring. Uh, the car has been completely rewired. Um, there's, I don't believe there's any original wiring left. So there's kind of my aftermarket fuse box setup. Got a fuel pressure gauge. There's the Fitec kind of display. Um, I did put in an aftermarket kind of sound bar in the top with a subwoofer um, below the seats. But overall it's been a, a fun little car. Um, replaced the dash. Kind of repainted and put some bed liner on the back. Kind of the rear setup. Um, it has a, a bench seat across, not the little folding seats on the sides. But yeah, I've been able to take it out camping a few times. Uh, Right now we're dealing with the coronavirus, so I haven't really been able to take it out camping and off-roading as much as I like. Um, but I'm hoping once that starts clearing up, I can take it out, take it on a few camping trips. Yeah, car starts and drives nicely. Uh, we got a an anti-wrap bar, a new dry shaft. Let's see. Get the keys out of my pocket. So should uh, turn on here. So here's my fuel pressure gauge. So it's a higher pressure side, the Dakota Digital gauge cluster, and it's fired up. Double check at the neutral volume. Yeah. Basically my little walk around of my 1971 Toyota FJ40 and looking forward to doing some uh, some camping trips and uh, little adventures with it so yeah thanks a lot hope you enjoyed it and uh, God bless
don't know what all the fuss was about. <laughs> it was awesome. How you feeling? Oh, that look on Peter doesn't scare me. <laughs> it, it was good. <laughs> it seemed uneventful on the video. Let me just put it that way. <laughs>